guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nadia and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys not what I got for Christmas but what I bought for Christmas I know that the normal video on okay like I was saying I know that the normal video on YouTube is to show what I got for Christmas well I decided I'm not gonna show what I got for Christmas. I'm gonna show, like I said, what I bought for Christmas. This video will go up Christmas day. <laughs> so everything that I have bought in this video for other people, they will have already received their gifts by the time this video goes up. So I won't be spilling the beans or anything like that. I'm just gonna record snippets of the video, you know, over time until December the 25th, until the video goes up. So Throughout this video, you will possibly see me in different clothes because I'm just going to record on different days. I think I have a lot of the stuff already, but I think I have a few more things I need to get. So like I said, maybe you'll see me in different clothes. Maybe you want, but this is going to start the video off, video off on what I bought for Christmas. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys what I bought myself. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I bought myself. <laughs> I'm out of breath because I've been running through the house. I had a phone call or whatever, but yeah. So I'm going to start the video off with what I, what I got for me. <laughs> so, and I actually, well, I'm going to say what I've got for myself lately because you guys know I bought this Killian's Angel Share for myself. This was one of my Christmas presents. Yes, it was. This was, you know. I, you gotta treat yourself everybody should treat themselves to something that they want for Christmas that you don't have to ask nobody else to get or you don't have to throw hints or anything like that or people tell you that it costs too much because it's one bottle of perfume but anyway <laughs> so that is one of the Christmas gifts I got for myself already opened and used the next thing and then I like I'm gonna go ahead and do this video because I want to put stuff in like in its place I literally have been you know hiding stuff out in the open <laughs> so that no one will think anything of it like literally the stuff that is in here that I'm recording and showing you guys today it has been out in the open not in a closet not under a bed not anywhere I literally have hid it out in the open it's just there's so much stuff in here that has to do with my YouTube channel but that nobody knows the difference in what's what so it kind of just blends together so See, in me saying that, <laughs> I had a box sitting over there full of stuff that I forgot was even a part of this video because it's been over there hiding out in the open. You see how easy it was for me to just pull it? That's because it's sitting under another box that's full of stuff that I never got to record. But anyways, so like I said, uh, I bought myself some Under Armour sports bras. Under Armour has the best sports bras, you guys. Like they pull me in oh my god it's hot in here they pull me all the way in like front side whatever like they they are so com so comfortable this is a size large that I got and it just looks like that and it crisp is that dirt oh no not the tag and it crisscrosses in the back let's see Get it together, Nadia. I'm burning up. And it crisscrosses in the back just like that. Under Armour had their stuff um, on sale. So this was 40% off. So I only paid $18 for this one. And then I got the same one in gray. I already have two black ones from there. So I just grabbed the white and the gray one since they were on sale because their bras are expensive. The other one that I have is regular price, $55. This one is regular $29.99. So when I looked at the ones that I have in the other colors, I was like, I'm not about to spend that much on a bra. Again, even though they were 40, oh, so hot and out of breath. <laughs> even though they were 40% off or whatever, it was still a lot cheaper, of course, for me to buy these at 40% off rather than the $50 ones at 40 or $55 ones at 40% off. So I got that and then the next thing I got is this jacket 
looks like that. It's a Tommy jacket and it has hill figure across the neck. I bought, and this color is like a, you guys can see, like a tannish color. I bought Keelan. It, the color is called Core. This is a, in a size small. I bought Keelan a hill figure jacket. I think last year or the year before last, and it's white with red, blue, and yellow on it, and it is super cute. And I, every time I see her with it on, I'm like, God, I want one of those jackets. It's so cute. So I got my own this year, and it just looks like that. And has the heel figure sign right there on the front and on the this patch on the arm. This was on sale also. The next thing I got for me is <laughs> from Guess. And I know a lot of people now do not wear guests. I guess it's not in style for all these rich people that's walking around here. You know what I'm saying? But like you guys should know by now, I'm wear what I want to wear. I don't care what is in style, what is out of style, what people are wearing, what they're not wearing. If I find something I like, I don't care what the tag says or what it is. If I like it, I'm going to wear it, whether other people are not or are wearing it or not. So this and these, I just got these boots. So I have some of the Keelan, like one of my videos, Keelan said, like I have so many black boots, which is true. I have a lot of black boots, but they are all like different styles. And I don't have a black booty that's comfortable. The black booties I have, the shoe is a beautiful shoe, but it is so uncomfortable. My feet literally burn when I'm wearing the shoe. And then I can't wear it for long because it feels like it's crunching my toes together, even though the shoe is like the perfect size. So I'm... I have been on the hunt for a comfortable black booty and it's hard to order a booty even though I've seen some online that I like but how am I going to know if it's comfortable if I order it because I can't try the shoe on. So I waited till I saw one in store that I liked and I found this one in Guess and this one was like $75 but I think it was 30% off. I think. I don't know but I think it was 30% off but like I said it looks like that and then the other side is just plain like that and even though it has that brown strap on it right there I'm still wearing it with stuff that's all black or whatever I'm ignoring the fact that that brown strap is there I just like the fact that I have a black beauty that is comfortable now. then the next thing I got from this is this sweater normally I don't wear things with big labels on them because I feel like they tend to go out of style fast but when I saw this sweater, I was like, oh my God, that is so stinking cute. And it's a cardigan and it looks like that. And it's open in the front with two pockets. Well, with a pocket down here on each side. It's not, is this not cute? I don't know, y'all might not like it, but I love it. But like I said, I normally don't do big labels on stuff like this, but I just felt like this was super cute. And this one, it was on sale also. It was regular $60. And I think it was 30 or 40% off. Yeah, this one was on sale also, like 30 or 40% off. Isn't, is, this, is this not cute? Anyways, I love it. Y'all know I have kind of funky style anyways. But my stuff be cute when I put it on. So. Okay, so these two things are not for me. This is a wallet for Keelan. And it's just like a little guest wallet. She wanted a black Michael Kors wallet, but when I went looking for them, I could not find any. Now, I could have went to the Michael Kors outlet and bought it, but I was not about to spend that much on a wallet for a 17-year-old. I'm sorry, I just was not. But And she was like just a cheap Michael Kors wallet from Marshalls because they normally have them in there and they're really cute and cheap, but they were out. So I was in Guess and I saw this one. I was like, oh, let me just get her that one. So, And I think this one cost more than... Well, this one was $27, but it... It was on sale. <laughs> I'm gonna drop something. Always. But it was on sale also, so it was okay. The next thing I got is um this is one of my secret Santa gifts. Like um I have what, eight co-workers or whatever, and of course we all did Secret Santa and everybody pulled names. And the person that I pulled, um I got I got her some really nice gifts I think that they're nice but this is one of the gifts that I got for her 
And then I bought like the uh, my other coworkers like something small, like stuff that I knew that they liked. I went I went and got them a little small thing like that, like if they liked um we'll say lotion. I went and picked out a lotion that I felt like that they would like depending on their taste and and I would put you know, I got that lotion and then put it like I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do it. But so the one that I picked, um we had a twenty five dollar limit, but <laughs> who sticks to twenty five dollars? <laughs> $25 limit or whatever so I took some of the stuff off of her list probably like four or five six things off of the list that she wrote and I bought one of each one of them or whatever and I still there's ways and I guys I tell you this all the time there's ways to shop for people and it not be like ridiculously expensive like I did go over the limit which is okay but she's gonna love her stuff but you know I didn't spend hundreds of dollars or anything like that but Anyway, so one of her things was scarves, and so I bought her this scarf out of Guess, and it just says Guess all over the scarf. Like that, and it looks, it says Guess at the bottom, like that, on both sides. Um, I don't, this was $25, and it was... Their sale was like 30% off, I think. 30 or 40% off, I guess. So I got this also from there. And then I'll just go ahead and show you guys the rest of the stuff that I bought her. And then I got her... Well, it's going to be mixed. No, I'm not going to do that. This is one of the things that I'm going to give her. Is this pen. Like that, and it's I have one on right, right now. Is that not cute? It's supposed to be like a Chanel pen, but <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> so um, this also is one of the things I'm gonna give her. This is a blush palette that um, I got because she said makeup. So I got this blush palette for her, and then I got these two velvet plush creamy lip colors for her and these this blush and the lipsticks they come from the hair store the hair store had this LA colors the hair store and this are these are Nika K so LA colors and Nika K has good stuff you guys know that already so and I think the rest of her stuff is somewhere down here but so that's part of her gift these three things the makeup and then the pen and then the scarf is a part of her gift but these also, I think I'm going to keep a pair of these. I bought two of these. By the time you guys see this video, I will have posted my inexpensive jewelry video. And I was telling you guys on there that get good gift ideas that have inexpensive jewelry and the stuff is still cute are, you know, it's from the hair store. So these earrings came from the hair store. So... I bought one of these for someone and then I, I think I'm gonna keep <laughs> I'm gonna keep whatever myself I think that's why I bought two and then this bracelet came from there also now I showed you guys this bracelet and then another bracelet in the last video this bracelet has still been in the pack it's in perfect condition and this one is a lot this one was nine dollars this one is in a different section from the one that I got for myself that I was wearing the one that I got for myself that I was wearing was only three dollars so it I didn't expect it to last a long time or whatever. I've worn it every day since that video. Well, not since that video. I've worn it every day since I bought it. And the video will be up, like I said, well before you guys see this. And I'm still wearing it. Some of the things are getting dark now. Because that was a $3 bracelet, but it's, it's still cute. So the next thing I got was... I, okay, so... I bought was this spray from Victoria's Secret. This spray smells so good. If you guys have never smelled it, to me it smells similar to Chant Chanel, the one in the pink, um, the pink bottle. So I got this as a gift for someone also. And then next, uh, let's see what else I got in here. So. I got these earrings that are in this box. It's a cute little box. This this is a part of my Secret Santa gift for the person's name that I picked. So the 
pen and the makeup and stuff that I showed you guys earlier. These earrings are also for her. And they look... Let's see. They look like that. So I got these as a part of her gift. Did I break it? No. Okay. And so the next thing I got is one of the one of my um, coworkers. I, I actually bought two of these because I feel like I would need one for another gift. But it's the Dirty Works Big Softy um, Body Butter. This one is the one that I already have. So I bought this because I knew she would like this. This one has shea and cocoa butter and then macadamia and sweet almond oil. This one has shea and cocoa butter and coconut and sweet almond oil. And they look like that. These smell so good. If you guys have a Marshalls near you, go in Marshalls and get one of these. You will not be disappointed. They feel good. They smell good. Oh my God, they smell so good. One of my favorite body butters. So the next. Thing I got. Oh, this is for Keelan. She likes these little Vaseline things. Let me come up some. The next thing I bought two of these. Okay. Two separate, two different people are gonna get these. And then I bought this candle. It's the coconut honey. You guys know this is one of this is one of my favorite candles, so I bought that as a gift for somebody. That stuff came from Target, and then I also got this um, Juvia's Place Nudes by Juvia. This is also for the person that I pulled her name. This is a part of her gift, so too. So she got some. I got some good stuff. Okay. Then the next thing I got for someone is this planner, this monthly planner. Isn't that cute? And then I got someone a sketchbook. It says create on it. Let's see. Okay, and so for the um I go out of that list. Alright, let's see what else I got. And then I got these for Keelan. These black crocs. And then I also got these um, Converse for Keelan. All black. Like the platform ones. These are super cute. I have these in white. I got her two, but no, this is one. This is a Pandora charm, and it's a camera. And then I got her some little, th like the little uh, charms to go to like style her crops. These are the letters, and they're gold with rhinestones in them. And then these are just like a bunch of different ones in here like it's all kinds of stuff in this bag and i'm not a crop person but after seeing like they have a cat a butterfly i think it's all kind of cute stuff in there like after seeing a friend of mine showed me her crocs that she did that she put all this stuff in them and they were super cute like i really would i wear i wear them like that but i'm not gonna wear them plain um, the next thing I got for Keelan is a champion hoodie, all white, and then a, I got it in red. Her list was kind of small. I've gotten everything on her list except for two things. Instead of asking for perfume, she's asking for cologne, but you guys saw that on a video. Um, let's see what else. And then I got Keelan these tights from the Nike outlet. And they're just black tights. And they have this Nike. How did he call this? Why did he call this? 
and they have they say Nike down the leg in that print right there and then so like for the co-workers that I didn't pull the names like the other ones that um, I bought gifts for I'm gonna give them their gift and then like say for instance the one with the planner I'll I have I bought bags already so I'll give her put her planner in there and then I bought just like a little I guess stocking stuffer kind of thing but I bought a bunch of these cups and they're coffee cups you know nothing fancy they were cheap they were a dollar but it's just kind of like to fill the bag you know so I bought a bunch of different ones like this this says let it snow it's the most wonderful time of the year then you got the gnome one I don't even know how to show you guys this one then you have the gnome one and then we have a candy cane one and then we have winter wonderland and then this one has Santa and yeah, so like his sleigh in the bag on it. And then this one has um, the little old school truck with the trees on it. And then the other one is another known one. So I'm going to put their gifts in a bag and then put one of these cups in there. And call it a day. I think that, I think that is it, guys, that I have to show you guys right now I think that's everything now I gotta package all this stuff back up and hide it out in the open again <laughs> so I think that's it I think I showed you guys everything why did it seem like so much more before I started doing this video now I'm looking like what else do I need to let me see cause I'll hide some stuff and then forget that I hid it Oh, I know what I'm missing. Where's Keelan's other charms? See what I mean by hiding some stuff? Keelan had three charms. Oh God, I forgot this stuff is even in there. And so this is another, another pack of like the charms for the shoes. Look at this. Look how cute that is. Said, you are beautiful. So yeah, I bought her. I forgot I bought this. I bought her two different packs of these little trinket thing, things for her shoes. And then she has another um, charm for her bracelet. And this one is her initial with some like rhinestones in it and this one I didn't even open it I have no idea what this is and then this one is a perfume bottle I think that's what that was supposed to be looks like that so let's see and then I bought her this purse and it's just this Steve Madden crossbody. Looks like that. I think that's it, guys. I think that's all I have so far. I have two more. I have two more things that I have to get for Keelan. I think two. And then I think that's all I have to buy. Okay guys, this is the second part of the video and this is the only time since the last time or the first part of the video that I have been home alone with no one here. So I'm doing this uh, last part of the video and I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the stuff that I bought. Um, is it just me or when like, like every year I ask Keelan what she wants for Christmas. She sends me a list of stuff that she wants. I buy the stuff off the list, but every single year when she sends me her list for Christmas and when I go buy the stuff, I always feel like I didn't buy enough. Like, dang, that's all I got her for Christmas? Even though it's the stuff that she had on her list. And then I'll always ask her, you know, this all you want? 
And she'd be like, yeah, I can't think of nothing else. And I'd be like, well, if you can't think of nothing else, that means you got everything that you need or whatever, or you want for that matter. But she works now, so she buys stuff, you know, she's been working for some months now. So she stuff that she wants, she's been buying it. So I guess by the time it was time for me to, um, like, for her to send me her Christmas list, this was the only th thing that she asked for. So... Um, actually, the stuff that I'm showing you guys now is not what she asked for. This is just stuff that I added. I have already showed you guys the stuff that she, um, the stuff that she asked for. Except for one thing. This right here is the one, one of the things that she asked for that I hadn't showed you guys yet. Instead of asking for perfume, Keelan wanted a bottle of cologne. And this particular cologne survive let me bring you guys closer i'm always have you guys like way back there and i can't even see that little screen way back there without it being blurry because i'm blind so i don't even know why i put y'all all the way back there anyway so yeah she wanted this um dior to survive of course y'all know this is a men's cologne <laughs> this is a men's cologne now, mind you, it does smell absolutely amazing, but the fact that she wanted this instead of a per perfume, I was like, you really want that? She was like, yeah, it smells good. But it's funny because when I was her age and younger, instead of wearing perfume, I wore men's cologne. My thing was Curve and Jupe. I used to think I smelled so good wearing those two colognes. So her asking for this is not a shock, but mine didn't cost this much when i was wearing those back then they were cheaper than this and i bought them myself i think i did but yeah so i got her this savage and then i just went ahead and picked her this one up because it smells so good she loves sprays and lotions and stuff like i do so every time i buy one for myself i buy her the same scent if, I, if it's something that i know she'll wear so i got her pure wonder and um, I got the, by, normally I buy the cream instead of the body lotion, but I had a coupon to get um, a, one full size free item for $15.50. And the lotion is $15.50, so the cream is, and the cream is $17.50. So I bought her the spray to match this or whatever, so she'll have that as a set. And then, let me take all these receipts out of here. So that. And then I bought her a bracelet and it's like a, it's a cuff bracelet, a cuff gold bracelet with her. It's an S on it. They didn't have an N. Of course I would have gotten an N um, because her name is Nikeelin, but um, they had the S. So I got the S instead. It's a cute cuff bracelet and it pops, well not pops, but it cuffs and opens like that. The, the initial part is a flap and then it pulls back in and cuffs like that. Super duper cute. I thought I was gonna better squeeze it. But yeah. So I got her that. And then I just picked her. I was in Target and I saw these. She loves hoodies. So I, I always grab her hoodies when I see some that I feel like she will like. And so I just got her this plain black hoodie out of Target. It's a crop hoodie. We come back some. Just a crop hoodie. But then I saw these. She has clothes, you know, to wear out. But I was like, I was gonna, I want to start buying her lounging clothes also. So these tights were by the pajamas. Okay, now I'm too close. But you guys, these tights were by the pajamas. But these are super stretchy. They were so cute. I looked at them for myself, and I was like, Nadia, you are not shopping for yourself. You're shopping for Keelan. So put yours back and just get hers. But they look like that. And I guess they're lounge tights because they have like they're seamless. The only seam that they have them in them is the middle, like going down the middle of the leg and in the crotch. They look so freaking comfortable. I'm going to go back and get a pair for myself because I know these are comfortable and they are $15. So I bought these and I just bought her like a crop hoodie to wear with them. So if she wants to lounge around the house in this or wear it out, it's up to her or whatever. So then I got her. Now I have this red hoodie that I had in a video like last earlier this year, like earlier this year or maybe 
It was earlier this year. I don't know, maybe last year. But there's this red hoodie I have that has rain on it and then has some words on the back. Keelan loves that hoodie. She wears it all the time. I don't know if she likes what it says or the fact that it's red. So I went and found her. Shoot, I might need to get a bigger. I should have got this in a medium. I don't know. Maybe not. She's swell. She's a small. But I went and got her a um red hoodie also and it just says take care of yourself on the front of it and it has pockets up here she should be able to fit this it looks so small but yeah she should be able to fit that but yeah so i thought it was cute um and it's something that she can wear and to replace the one that she wears of mine <laughs> so that now mine will stay in the closet because she'll have her own red hoodie and then I got her another one. It is an Aaliyah hoodie. Looks like that. These kids don't know about no Aaliyah. They learning though, cause everybody blowing it up and bringing it back. And then on the back of it, it has her name and then Princess of R&B. And then her best hits and they list them down there. Like that. I thought this was cute. I'm not a purple girl. I know that's a lot of girls color. Keelan, she's not a purple girl either, but she'll like that hoodie because, I mean, it's a hoodie. So, and then I bought her a two, two, two t-shirts. This one is a Tupac t-shirt. And it just has put in just this um, a street romance on the front. And then I bought this one, to be honest with you guys, I don't even know what kind of shirt this is, but when I saw it, I thought it was, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get myself one of these t-shirts because this t-shirt is so freaking cute. It looks like it should have been like a, a jersey, but they like cut it down the middle. Like it's really unique. And I was like, oh my God, that is cute. It was folded up on the table and I spotted it because it kind of puts me in the mind of like a baseball jersey. So yeah and then it's i like how the neck looks it's rounded but it looks like a v-neck because of the split in the middle i just thought this shirt was super cute and i think she will too and but it looks like it was would have said los angeles i don't know los angeles ball california and it's because of how they bleh, sorry guys it's because of how they split it y'all can see that though so you, you get what I mean. And then this shirt says something that would have been league, something city. I just thought the shirt was super cute. They had it in this color. And then they had a red and blue one. But this one to me looked better. So I got that one. And then the last thing I got Keelan was a pair of shoes. I like funky shoes. I like different shoes. And I always tell Keelan to be different Get stuff that is different and don't you know dress like everybody else because everybody pretty much wears everybody uses the same thing everybody wants Jordan 1's and stuff like that so I'm sorry <laughs> my head down the whole time I was checking the size on these which I should have did before I left the store but yeah they're good so I bought her these and they have these in black also they didn't have the black ones in stock which is okay because if you guys know in the earlier part of the video, I bought her those black platform Converse. So her now she'll have the, those in black and then these in white. They had these in all white, but they were all white. Like the Puma sign was, um, it was white. And then this platform part is also white. And then it was low, it's a low top. So those were cute too. So if they didn't have these in her size, I was gonna get the low top plat, the low top all white ones or whatever. But they had these, and I was like, oh yeah, let me get that one. So now she have a black shoe and a white shoe to add to all the other shoes. Now I hope that this shoe doesn't look fat on her foot because if it looks fat on her foot, she's not gonna wear it, and I'm gonna have to take it back. <laughs> Even though she has narrow feet, but the front of this shoe looks really wide. But I don't know. I just thought that they were funky. They were super cute. They're different, and I know, like, once she puts these on with something, they'll be really cute. Be different. All right, so, see, that's what I mean. I've added to the end of this video with showing you guys this stuff, and I still feel like I have not bought her enough, but 
I got her the stuff that was on her list and then I added some stuff to it and I still feel like it's not enough. But this stuff was not cheap, honey. Okay? <laughs> and then it's okay. She's about I have to, she's about to graduate. We gotta do all this stuff for graduation. So she got everything she wanted. Some stuff she, I wanted to her to have. And then we're about to roll right on into graduation because my baby is finished with high school, y'all. She is finished. I'm going to cry in the car. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you know it's coming, but you don't... It's like no preparing for it. Like, how do you prepare for your child going from a baby to a senior, being out of high school, going to college, being grown, being able to go off without you? Like, right now, her and my niece are gone. Y'all can tell I just want to talk because I like recording, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, her and my niece are gone to the mall by themselves because they was like they weren't finished Christmas shopping. And I'm like, see, that's having your own money, having your own job. So girls out there, y'all young girls watching this, having your own money and your own job is something that you should always have. Don't depend on nobody to do nothing for you. These girls are 17 years old. Keelan been buying gifts like she has been <laughs> working a job that pay $30 an hour <laughs> but it's like I can see in her a lot of me because gifting makes her happy like she likes to buy stuff for other people so me seeing her I'm sorry guys the light changed because the sun is moving but me seeing her buy gifts for other people it just made me like, oh, she really like she she was enjoying it. So she loves to receive just like myself. I love to receive gifts, but I also love to buy gifts for other people. Um, and I see that in her with how she has been for Christmas, like the gifts that she's been buying, like her siblings and her stepmom and stuff like that. Seeing her go around buying those gifts, picking like, oh, well, this is all I got. I got. I feel like I need to get something else. I feel like I need to get something else. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, this is literally my child. I'm like, this is my child. So, yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Because I will sit on here and ramble my tail off. But um, that's it. This will be the last video that you guys will see for Vlogmas. By the time you see this, guys this video it will be christmas day so merry christmas to all of you guys out there that keep watching my videos and keep coming back all of my returning subscribers people that are watching me the 40 some percent of y'all that are watching me that are not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting on subscribe you're here and you keep returning because i can see it so y'all like me and i like y'all too <laughs> But yeah, guys, like I said, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year. My birthday is Tuesday. I will be 39 years old, but looking every bit of 25. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much for all of the support. Let's get me to 4,000 watch hours because I am so close. So run it up for the rest of this year. Okay. I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. And it's not going to be an old gap or nothing like that because I'm already thinking about what I'm going to record next. I've been making a list in my phone to go. Like, there's not going to be any stop. And I just won't be uploading a video every day during the week like I have been for Vlogmas. All of you guys out there that did, big ups to you because I know it ain't easy. I see you. It's not. So, and especially for the ones that are vlogging every single day and doing vlogmas. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine. Now that, I don't think I can do. That I will not do as long as I still have a full-time job. So, prayers up that one day I will actually be able to do YouTube full-time and then, you know, decide if I want to continue to work full-time or maybe go part-time or whatever the case may be. We're going to put it in the atmosphere today because it's going to happen, okay? All right. So, that was the longest outro ever. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Merry Christmas, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.